So of course you love to stand out and look and feel absolutely amazing in your style that you've created and put together. But I know that it's not as easy as what it looks. You look at someone else and they're so well put together and you would love to just be able to go and buy a material, select a pattern and make up a couple of garments to create this wardrobe which is true to your authentic self. But I know it's not as easy as that. So in this video, I'm going to give you four tips four steps of how you can actually identify your true authentic style and how to actually create a little wardrobe according to your actual authentic style. Four little steps that you can incorporate for you to identify your personal style and how to bring that into maybe sewing or actually buying garments to create that little wardrobe of styles and looks that resonate with your personality as well as your body shape and your lifestyle and how to identify your styles to bring that into your wardrobe. Whether you are sewing and designing your own personal wardrobe or whether you are designing and styling for a client. My name is Tanya Sutherland and with 36 years of experience of being a fashion designer and image stylist as well as an entrepreneur in this industry it's not just about the fashion that I've been in all these years. It's about your image. It's about your confidence and how you are, you are creating your look, how you are creating your identity. And through your identity, it's the confidence and that journey of creating that life of success, living your best life in all the courses and workshops that I have done and offered over the years, sharing content with you on YouTube. And if this is the kind of thing that you like, then please don't forget to Press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell. Actually, I'm very proud of you to subscribe. Very thank you. It's always about choosing the right design, the right style and the right color. So that might sound easy, but I know it's not. Because when you become totally overwhelmed of all these beautiful fashion photographs out there, you start following Pinterest, you get all these ideas, all the different colors and the prints and designs and styles and of course the different body shapes, it can become so overwhelming of what it is that you should be making for yourself or for your client because your client is feeling in the same boat. I'll leave the link down below of my entire collection of PDF sewing patterns that you can tap into and create your own wardrobe or, or sew and design for your clients. So don't forget to press the subscribe button down below and to stay in tune with every Tuesday's videos to do about the image sewing. And all these styles, they send out a certain kind of energy, a certain kind of look a certain kind of statement that they're saying. So we need to start finding all of those things that you identify and that you resonate with your true authentic self. Step number one would be, like anything, you need to know what it is that you like. So in other words, you need to know thyself. Everybody wants to be noticed and wants to be seen. It is how you are dressing, it is what you are wearing and what you are projecting out to the world. It's what the way that you think or feel about yourself, that is how you put together an entire outfit with the way that you feel about yourself. The other thing is how do people perceive you? How do you want to be perceived? Those are three different things. That must all gel together. So how do we go about that? So on Tuesdays, I'll be talking about planning and sewing your authentic style. It's about sewing and creating your lifestyle wardrobe, uplifting your self-image as well as your self-confidence, and understanding your style. In the next video, I'll be talking about how to plan, how to sew styles for an hourglass body shape. Then number two would be describe yourself using three to five words of how you see yourself right now. Is that what you want to be? Is that what you want to show people? Are you going through a lot in your life right now and you don't want to be those descriptive words that you have used for yourself? You actually want to create a new descriptive word about yourself because you want to reinvent yourself. You want to show the world this is who you really are. Then what are those new words that you are putting out to the world and to yourself? They could be different words. This is how you're perceiving yourself. And this is how you want to be seen. 
the next open up your wardrobe and step inside and be honest with yourself does your wardrobe portray the descriptive words that you use to describe yourself if they are then you're on the right track if they're not then that means you need to start replacing and putting new designs and new garments into your wardrobe Part of stepping into your wardrobe is also about detoxing and decluttering because maybe some of your styles you no longer wear. Maybe some of the things that you bought don't talk to you anymore. Maybe some of those looks and colors and the design and the shape of the garment is the old you. You are now using new descriptive words to describe you. You need to create new garments and a new look. It would be a very good idea to create a bit of a fashion personality vision board of where it is that you want to go forward, the kind of person that you want to create, some part of you that you still want to use, some styles you still love and makes you feel excited. Add some new fresh designs and garments to that. With your vision board, you can start having a look at different ideas and colors and start to explore and experiment and have some fun. Go and try on some clothes in the retail store with very similar kind of styles and designs as you have put together on your vision board, then that makes it easier when you are going to a fabric store looking for patterns of which designs that you want to make and wear as your authentic style, saying to the world, hello, here I am. With absolute confidence and boosting your self-image because you are portraying your message to the world of who you really are and you are sending out the right energy and the right signal. Opportunities will start opening up for you. It's about how you portray yourself into the world. If you I'm confident in wearing my clothes, I'm confident in showing up, I'm confident in putting together my entire attire. Go look at some patterns through your own stash. Go look at patterns in the fabric store and see if there are similar designs that you can actually make up in those styles that you perhaps tried on in the retail store. And back to the wardrobe. Once you've gone through the wardrobe, you start det detoxing and decluttering and start sieving through the garments and keeping, keeping your true designs and styles and colors that you love wearing. And then those are the description words that you use about your personality. Before you repack, try on your garments, but create a different style. Wear it slightly different and see how it makes you feel. Take some photographs, have some fun, have a mini fashion show in your own wardrobe. This is about investing in yourself to find your true authentic style. It is part of your self-image that it boosts your inner confidence and your self-worthiness as well as your self-esteem about yourself. That is how important your clothing is. So let's get it right. Nothing stops you from pouring yourself a glass of wine, playing some nice music and having absolute fun, trying on new looks and different styles. The last step would be is the colors. And when you were trying on the clothes in the retail store, how did the different colors make you feel? Colors have energies. I will leave the link down below on my, on my video of the color psychology so you understand what colors actually do. Colors can radiate an energy and those energies connect with your energies. They can either uplift your endorphins or they can actually make you feel calm and relaxed, stimulating your serotonin levels. Your side for the day, what is the play for the day, what is the look for the day, where are you going, what is your purpose, what is your message, what are you projecting to the world. Four, step four would be, what is missing in your wardrobe? Is the accessories that you need to make a note of what you can go and purchase, is shoes, handbags, etc. But what garments can you make up to add into your wardrobe to help you create that beautiful authentic style bringing out your true authentic look with the right description this is who i am you are also telling your subconscious who you are this will absolutely uplift your self-confidence like you cannot believe because you have more clarity in what is your purpose in your wardrobe and your style what voice you're projecting to the world what is the reason what is the purpose is it that you're looking for a new job a new partner if you've just gone through a divorce a separation or you're just tired of the old you 
you've lost some weight and this is all the new person or maybe you've been suppressing yourself too much you've invested in yourself doing some self-development and personal growth and you're not the same person anymore and it's time to show the world this is who you are you are still the same person but now you've woken up to becoming who you should be how to sew styles for an hourglass body shape. That will be part image, part two of image sewing.